All right, so let's do the Pablo mission. This mission is really not hard. At least I didn't think it was. Uh, the only part that's kind of a pain in the ass is the fact that there is so much walking. You walk so much that it, it, this could be another Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, anyway, so in this first area, you gotta go in the house and you gotta want to pick up a handgun. It doesn't matter if there's this handgun right here or the revolver that's upstairs. However, you're gonna want to pick up all the ammunition that you come across, both handgun and shotgun shells. The reason being, you're gonna need the shotgun shells later on in this mission. So right now, I'm gonna switch to the revolver just because it packs more of a punch. And I'm gonna walk around the house, pick up as much ammo as possible. I'm gonna ignore the shotgun. And uh, equally as important in this back area of the house, um, you're gonna find a uh, Shemp's Cola and an amulet. And I think like one or two more ammo boxes. So make sure you go into the back, you know, pick everything up. You're gonna you're gonna wanna be fully stocked on ammunition. So in this first area that we're gonna go towards, uh, we're gonna end up in uh, Ash's trailer park. I take the car over there just because Sometimes, if everything lines up correctly, I can run over some of these deadites. However, I don't rely on the car. As a matter of fact, I think it, if you hit a couple of these guys, the car breaks down. So it's kind of you know, pointless, but that's two deadites that I don't have to worry about. And so in this area, you're gonna wanna take out all these deadites. Uh, one of these guys drops a machete which is your first melee weapon in this whole mission. So don't worry about finding a melee weapon earlier because you're not going to. Um, just make sure you take them all out. Try to take them out from the distance if possible. If not, you know, use your mitts, throw some hands. They're pretty weak. All the enemies in this uh, mission are actually pretty weak. And um, once you take them all out, I'll pick up all the ammo on these tables. And if you walk up to the chainsaw, you're going to trigger the little uh, storyboard, you know, with a little plot point. Once that's triggered, um, you know, press X, move on. And I'm going to look for that machete. There it is. Um, like I said, one of these deadites, when you kill him, uh, he's going to drop a machete. And so at this point, I went into this house uh, for two reasons. One, I knew that there was ammunition in this house, and two, uh, just so I can kind of have a little chance to tell you that it's not necessary to go into every building in this mission, or all these missions, really. You shouldn't really go uh, waste too much time going into all these uh, houses and cabins and stuff. Most of the time, you're not going to find much. And whatever you do find, uh, you're going to find it at the, you know, uh, mission marker points so from this point on you're gonna encounter random uh, deadites uh, all over the map but like I said as long as you have that uh, machete you know it, you can pretty much swing a couple of times and take them out they're pretty weak just try to deal with them uh, as they show up this is one of those missions where it's better off that you deal with them instead of trying to run away from them. So this next uh, mission marker is at the Brujos hut. And once you get close to that uh, marker, you're gonna trigger the battle. So take him out from a distance if possible. If not, you know, use your melee attack. There's only like five enemies in this area and Anytime you engage in combat, you should always remember to make uh, good use of those finishing moves because you're going to be invulnerable for like a second or two. It can save your life in a pinch. So make sure you, uh, you use and take advantage of that finisher. 
All right, so once we take him out, you're gonna have another storyboard uh, show up with a little bit more of a plot point there. Um, and then I'm going in, inside the Brujo's house to look for ammo. I go into the garage and this is what you need. You need the amulet. You know, it's gonna trigger another storyboard, a little more uh, plot. And so from this point on, the mission is a little tricky. Um, there's an enemy to my left. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can, there it is. And the reason that I point it out is because in this part of the mission, it tells you that you're basically invisible to these guys. You are, and you'll see how close I can get to some of these guys. So I go into this basement to show you that I can get pretty close without alerting him. But um, more importantly, I go into this basement to show you that there's a machete upgrade uh, inside. So it's going to help you out during the mission. So I'll pick that up. And uh, as you can see, I can walk relatively close to these guys without alerting them. That's what it refers to when it says that you're invisible. It doesn't mean that you're invisible to them. They still can see you if you get close. And, but where, it, where the tricky part begins is like, for example, right here, this deadite came out of nowhere. Um, even though I was nowhere near him, he ran at me and that causes all the deadites in the area to uh, swarm towards you. So this is the, the part of the mission that could be a little difficult. So you're gonna wanna have to tiptoe everywhere uh, for this part because once one of them spots you, it'll trigger all the ones in the area in the vicinity to come towards you. Um, so you know you go in, once you get past all that, you should be good. And like I said, uh, you're gonna find uh, useful items mostly in the areas where you know you the key areas of the mission, like this house, for example. If you can kind of keep up uh, with where I am on the map, this is to me the best route to take. I always try to keep my mission marker directly in front of me. That way it keeps me from moving in circles or whatever. Because, you know, like I always try to go in, in the straightest line possible. You know, the shortest distance between two points is always going to be a straight line. So. Right here, I think you're at the dead end area. And the house that has the uh, Ash's hand is actually gonna have it like in the back of the house, which, uh, you know, you get attacked by uh, Demi Elegos. You take him out. And I think it's better if you go behind the house like I did just now, because you only have to deal with one Demi Elegos, as opposed to, I think, if you run, try to go towards the front. You gotta deal with him plus some more deadites. But, you know, once you get to this part of the mission, make sure you stock up on all the ammunition. There's a, a ton of, like, good stuff that you can pick up. There's different weapons. Uh, Shemp's Cola. At this point, I am gonna pick up a shotgun. So I'm finally trading in my handgun for the uh, shotgun. But I'm still picking up a lot of ammo, you know, if I have to. There's, like, one or two amulets. Uh, one or two Shemp's Colas around the house. You just got to kind of look around. Once you're good to go, pick up the hand. And let's move on to the next part. So same thing applies. Always pay attention to your surroundings. You can usually spot the deadites uh, far away. And if possible, you can take him out from a distance. Try not to get too trigger happy because you're gonna need ammo later on in this mission. At the very least, kind of pay attention to where sounds are coming from. The dead eyes usually attack you uh, right after they make some kind of grunting noise or yelling or whatever. And you can usually tell where they're coming from by paying attention to where the sound's coming from. So at this point, I was trying to get my fear down and I mean, not so much that it's required, but just so I could have time to explain to you what's up ahead. Um, you're still technically invisible to uh, all these demi elegos that are all over this gas station. There's like three or four in this area. 
So as long as you don't get too close to them, uh, they're not going to spot you. They're not going to attack you. And there's another one right there at the main entrance, and there's one right here at the shop. So what I do is I go around the Delta, as you saw, and I'm going to go towards uh, that street sign up ahead. I find that this is the best path to uh, take. This is the street sign I was talking about right here. I'm going to walk along this back wall. And there is a deadite that is running back and forth in this uh, area. And so what I usually do is I try to take him out with melee attacks. There he is. I try not to use my gun because I don't want to alert the other Elegos. And... You know, you go into the gas station, try to tiptoe, and me, right as you go in to your right, your in the middle of the aisle, there's Ash. He basically sends you on a mission to get gas for the Delta or whatever. Make sure you pick up the amulet that's laying next to him. And then walk wow. out of there, same way you came in. So uh, there's different areas that you know you're gonna come across. I try not to go out of the way and explore them. It's kind of pointless and unnecessary. If anything, I try to just keep my eyes open and try to see if I can spot these uh, enemies. And I'll deal with them as they come. You know, I'm not uh, I'm not trying to run away from them just because I know that. Uh, if I run away from them into another area where there's more room, then it's going to be more overwhelming. Alright, so this next spot right here at the junkyard is actually pretty easy. You're supposed to kind of sneak through. And as long as you kind of follow the path that I'm taking, you should be alright. And you'll, you'll see how close I can get to these guys without them uh, seeing me, without alerting them. It's kind of ridiculous at times, but as long as you follow this path, they uh, should leave you alone. And in this area, you're really going to want to take your time. You don't want to rush things. You know, there's a guy in front of me, look how close he is. If you have to, kind of, you know, take a few steps, move the camera around, look, uh, ahead of you or to the sides there's like this guy right here that was walking towards me as I was walking out so I took a few steps back just to make sure that I was out of his field of range and as soon as he turns around I'm moving there's a lot of guys in this area which is you know you don't want to run into any one of these guys because they're all gonna run on you um, the little gas can that you need is behind this building and there's also a shimp's cola over here that you can pick up all right so once you get them you have to get out of this junkyard area which is a lot easier than what you think once again, make sure you're taking your time, being stealthy, you know, just walking around them. Don't run, don't shoot, don't swing. And you should be all right. All you got to do is go down this way. And the exit is literally like right in front of us. That guy looks like he could see you. So just try to stay around this car like I did just now. And that's probably one of the more difficult parts in this game, really, or this mission. After that, you go pick up the second gas can. And I don't think you have a maybe one enemy that pops up, which I took him out from a distance. I just didn't want to deal with him. I wanted to get this mission done. And it's going to be at this uh, little convenience store thing. And so if you go up the stairs to the back, uh, the gas can is on the second floor. It's right next to the door, actually. You can go out the front the way I did. 
I'm walking around just to show you that there's a lot of ammo in here in case you guys get trigger happy and need it, but you know, you move on to the third gas can that you gotta pick up. And this is where the shotgun comes in handy. You're gonna fight Elegos, so you're gonna wanna have that shotgun, you know, and this is why I asked from the beginning that you pick up all the ammunition that you come across. It didn't matter if you didn't have a shotgun or not because it makes things a lot easier in this part. So the gas can is up ahead, is right next to these big gas tanks, these big red tanks. And the mission doesn't start till you pick up the gas tank, so, or the gas can. So I'm walking around them to show you that there's plenty of space and that you kind of, you know, my strategy is to uh, stay around them, just kind of walk around these big gas tanks to avoid the attacks. So when Eligo shows up as soon as you pick up the can, and usually his attack pattern is going to be the same as last time. Uh, you know, he'll spawn, do the telekinetic rock toss, which is a big Kamehameha wave. And so your job is to try and dodge it. This is why I try to stay around these big gas tanks so I can dodge you know, behind them in a pinch. And with Eligos, anytime he does the telekinetic rock throw, he stands still for like two seconds. It's enough for you to like get two shots, even if he's standing behind the fence. Uh, as you saw, he came close to me. Unlike the last mission, uh, this time he will spawn next to you if you don't, you know, if you don't uh, stop moving, I guess, or if you stop moving. But uh, once he's done, that's it. All you got to do is go back to the Delta. Um, if you had a, a gun or a melee weapon at that point, it would make things a lot more difficult to deal with them. But since you got the shotgun or you should have a shotgun, you'd be all right. So these Eligos guys don't disappear from this area, but it's fine. We're not even going to get anywhere near the gas station. All we got to do is go to the Delta and start driving off. And there's one last thing that you need to do as you're driving away. And that is to make sure that you don't crash the Delta, make sure that uh, you don't hit any of these enemies coming up on the road. They're going to try to run in front of you. And the reason you want to avoid them instead of taking them head on is because the cars are pretty weak in this mission. So if they take too much damage, you know, they'll break out on you. And once you get past all of them, that's it. That's the end of the mission. So I hope that helped you guys. Uh, it's not a hard mission, as you saw. It's just a pain in the ass because you have to walk so much. And as long as you kind of know that there's parts where the, the demons are going to spot you regardless of whether you're invisible to them or not. And you can deal with that, you should be alright. Well, that's it. That's all I got for this mission. <laughs>